And here is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday, the 11th of December, 2019. It's the birthday of Grace Paley, born in New York City in 1922, grew up in the Bronx, surrounded by all sorts of immigrants. Her own parents spoke Yiddish and Russian at home, English only in public. She loved to hear all these different tongues. But when she started writing poetry, she wrote in a formal, stilted British style. She thought that's what poems were supposed to sound like. And then she met W.H. Auden, and he read her work. And Grace Paley recalled, we went through a few poems, and he kept asking me, do you really talk like that? And I kept saying, oh, well, sometimes. That was the great thing I learned from Auden, that you'd better talk your own language. The poet Naguib Mahfouz, born Cairo, 1911, best known for his Cairo trilogy. Naguib Mahfouz, who said, if the urge to write should ever leave me, I want that day to be my last. It's the birthday of the novelist Thomas McGuane, Wyandotte, Michigan, 1939, came from a family of Irish Catholics, emigrated to Massachusetts where they saw themselves as outsiders. He said, my parents moved to the Midwest. I can assure you that whatever we thought we were, we did not consider ourselves to be Midwesterners. When I moved to Montana in my 20s, I felt myself to be an outsider. The only thing that seems reassuring is that most Montanans feel the same way. McGuane went to the University of Michigan. One of his classmates was Jim Harrison. They became lifelong friends. First novel, The Sporting Club, 1969. Spent the 70s in Hollywood writing screenplays, Rancho Deluxe, The Missouri Breaks. McGuane said, aspiring to be a screenwriter is like aspiring to be a co-pilot. Thomas McGuane, fly fisherman. He was Montana's cutting horse champion for three years in a row. And it's the birthday of the poet and novelist Jim Harrison, born in Grayling, Michigan, 1937. When he was 25, he was invited to go on a hunting trip with his father and sister. In the end, he didn't go, and they were both killed a few hours later, hit by a drunk driver. Wrote three books of poems first. Then when he was in bed for months with an injured back, he tried writing a novel entitled Wolf, A False Memoir. A few years later came his novella, Legends of the Fall. Jim Harrison, who said, Life is sentimental. Why should I be cold and hard about it? That's the main content. The biggest thing in people's lives is their loves and dreams and visions, you know. Here's a poem for today, a poem from 1878 by Edith Wharton. Some woman to some man. We might have loved each other after all, have lived and learned together, yet I doubt it. You asked, I think, too great a sacrifice, or else perhaps I rate myself too dear. Whichever way the difference lies between us, would common cares have helped to lessen it a common interest, and a common lot. Who knows, indeed? We choose our path and then stand looking back and sighing at our choice and say perhaps the other road had led to fruitful valleys dozing in the sun. Perhaps, perhaps. But all things are perhaps. And either way there lies A doubt, you know. We've but one life to live and 50 ways to live it in and little time to choose the one in 50 that will suit us best. And so the end is that we part and say we might have loved each other after all. A poem by Edith Wharton some woman to some man. That's the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.